What's going on everybody? It's Marquis serving a vegan new. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a common condition, anemia, how you can fight it, treat it, and prevent it. Alright, first I want to give some credit to, this is an amazing book, Health and Healing for African Americans. Uh, straight talk and tips from more than 150 black doctors on our top health concerns. Uh, a lot of valuable information. Um, edited by Cherie Crew and forwarded by Joycelyn Edwards, uh, MD, former U.S. Surgeon General. A lot of valuable information. Uh, if you're into reading or just health and wellness, I highly recommend this book. Great, check it out. All right, let's get started. Iron deficiency anemia means that your body is deficient in either one or the two important components, either red blood cells or hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is located inside of red blood cells. So your red blood cells travel throughout your body, delivering oxygen to vital organs and all aspects of your body as well. It go through the lungs, it pick up oxygen, and it takes oxygen to your brain, your heart, your muscles, anywhere that your body needs oxygen, red blood cells transport it to it. So no iron means no hemoglobin. No hemoglobin means no oxygen. And now you become deficient and a bunch of other side effects that come from being iron deficient. When you're iron deficient, your body cannot manufacture enough hemoglobin. When you don't have hemoglobin, you lack oxygen. And therefore, you can get dizzy, fatigue, headaches, ringing in your ears. A lot of people that have anemia always feel or constantly feel weak and fatigued due to a lack of oxygen, which is also due to a lack of iron. So understanding your body and different foods and understanding iron will help you combat and fight anemia. Your red blood cells live for about 120 days. And when they die, your body recycles that iron. So about 97% of the iron that your body has come from recycled red blood cells. The other 3% comes from your diet. So it's important that you understand what foods obtain iron and have iron so you can eat them to increase that level of iron and fight your anemia as well. So among the large population of people that suffer from anemia, women deal with anemia far more than men do simply because they bleed more. They lose a lot of blood through menstruation cycles as well as pregnancy. Developing a new fetus or developing fetus draws a lot of vital nutrients from the woman's body, specifically in this case, iron. So a lot of women lose iron through the menstrual cycles as well as being pregnant as well. So it's important as a woman that you understand and know that this is somewhat natural because your body deals with this cycle monthly as well as pregnancy as well. So it's even more important to understand certain foods that you can eat to increase that iron intake so you can combat and not suffer from anemia. So thankfully there are vast amounts of plant-based foods that have iron. Lima beans, navy beans, pinto beans, black beans, uh, garbanzo beans, almonds, dark leafy greens have iron. Spinach, kale, they absorb iron naturally from the earth. They get sunlight and use it to nourish their bodies as well as produce more vital nutrients for your body. And also, the more plant-based foods you eat will increase the health of your colon as well as your body, which will allow you to absorb vital nutrients such as iron more likely. So the healthier you eat, the more dark leafy greens you eat, you will not only detox your body and cleanse your body, but also allow your body to absorb iron more easily. Another superfood that is beneficial, and I highly recommend everybody, whether you're anemic or not, to consume are beetroots. Beetroots naturally detoxify your liver, which is important because all the toxins run through your liver, so it's important that you detox that. But beetroots also cleanses your blood and also allows your body to absorb iron at a much higher rate as well. So if you're anemic or have anemia, nine times out of 10, you go to the doctor, they give you iron supplements to take. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's also important to understand that different minerals go hand in hand with each other. So from what I found from my research, and I also recommend that you do your own research as well, I learned that vitamin C is good to take with iron as well because vitamin C creates an acidic environment in your stomach, which allows iron to be absorbed at a much higher rate, which can give more iron in your blood, which will help fight your anemia as well. I also learned that taking iron with calcium, you should be aware of that as well. Calcium and iron really make cozy friends in the digestive system and instead of the iron going into your bloodstream, it sits in your digestive tract. So you take calcium or iron or you take them both at the same time, take one before the other or after the other within at least 90 minutes in between. So if you're taking iron, wait about 90 minutes before you take calcium or vice versa. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. Anemia isn't something, isn't a death sentence you shouldn't be too afraid of. 
women, don't worry, it's natural, menstruation cycles as well as pregnancy, it's just kind of something that comes with it, but thankfully if you have a diet that's rich in plant-based foods, you can have the iron that you need, the intake you need, and also detoxify and cleanse your body so you can absorb iron much more easier too. I'm Marquis Irvin, the Vegan Noob. Please make sure you subscribe below. Stay tuned for a new episode every single week. I'm out.